Let's be honest guys, we all love a good Hoover sound, a good rave sound and doesn't it scream techno from the bottom of its heart? Well, how is it done actually? That's what I want to show you today. Charlotte David used it in her latest track Overdrive. What a successful track and I rebuilt this to show you how Hoovers work and how you can use them for yourself. <laughs> So in this video guys, there's two things that I want to talk about with you. We're gonna have a listen to Charlotte David's Overdrive, I rebuilt the drop for you. And then there's two synths, this rave synth and then those kind of steps that I want to show you how I rebuilt them. So let's have a listen first. <laughs> So don't worry about the kick and bass and hi-hats too much, this video is all about the synth. And fir first of all, I put them on different tracks because I wanted different settings for them, different reverb and cutoff settings and I was uh, a little bit uh, <laughs> uh, too lazy to automate them, but um, it's the same sound. So we're gonna talk about it mainly on this track here. It's like a Hoover type of sound and what Hoover means, like Hoover is a sound like from back in the days and it means that we have some sort of pitch in the beginning of the sound and you can clearly hear that it always comes from like very high and kind of fast falls to the original uh, sound and what's interesting here is we have a lot of unison and I decreased the width a bit because I didn't want it to be all over the place so I went like 50 instead of 100 and because both of them have unison and they need it because we need the poly sound, the poly voice sound for this for this um, synth. And um, so this is why it's kind of very easy here to have just two oscillators, two saw waves, both unison. They're both on plus one here, but that doesn't really matter in a sense because we could also go to zero and just put the note a little bit higher. Um, and they're detuned to each other. Um, and the thing that really makes the difference here, of course, is this envelope number three on the on the pitch here, right? On both oscillators. Right here, envelope three on the chorus pitch. And um, yeah, I can control it with the macro four. The setting is already very nice, so I'm not gonna touch this. <laughs> And yeah, that, that's it kind of, like we can lower this. This is what it sounds like. And now I'm, I'm gonna show you just real quick what it sounds like without the unison, for example. So now maybe you can hear that in the beginning it sounds like it's, it's uh, kind of moving a little faster and then it's going a little bit slower. This is because with this envelope too, I automated the fine tune on the second oscillator. It's very subtle, but in combination with the other one, which is completely stable, In the beginning you have this very detuned feeling, like and then it falls to a bit more kind of stable setting, even though it's still very detuned, so it still feels detuned. But it seems to align a little bit, right? It's oscillating like very, very fast and then it gets a little slower. And I think this is like a little detail that's very interesting here. But of course, like this, it sounds very weak, so we're adding the poly voices And now we get this. Of course, also very important is the filter setting here. It shouldn't be too much opened. Because then we have a lot of noise, which we don't want. And we should add a little bit of drive. We also have um, distortion, quite a lot here actually, with um, diode one. 
and uh, this is a very strong one, right? Uh, on basses, if you put it on basses, it will completely crash your sound. In a, not, um, not in a bad way, right? At least not always. <laughs> but uh, yeah, on a sound like this, it will just like make it very harsh and this is very good for our Hoover sound here right now. And then we have this pitch envelope amount. And we want it to be somewhere around here if we want to want it to sound exactly like Charlotte has it. And then here for the switch, it just goes one, one, two, two octaves, not one. Sorry, I think it was two. Yeah, so we're on the F1 here, and here we're on the F3. <laughs> And of course, there's also the vocal playing here, like Energize, Living Wild and Free or something. Very nice vocal, but uh, yeah, of course, it doesn't matter for synth design here. So it's the same sound, essentially, just a little bit lower. And I took away a little bit of the reverb, right? That was a little bit stronger on the other sound. And I opened the cut off just a little more. <laughs> And of course you can see the notes is always just one bar, so it's very simple, but very effective, which is always the bottom line of Charlotte David Productions. Simple, but effective. <laughs> so next up I want to talk about this step group, it's this one here, and um, there's three different sounds to it, and we have this main sound, and then it's, it's kind of supported by this one, and this one. And that's some interesting support sounds. <laughs> but let's start with the main sound, maybe. So um, this is what the sound looks like. And essentially, we have a bit of effect gambling here, right? Some effects that are helpful for us. If I disable all of them, sound like this. So we have already the kind of color of the sound. But if we go with all the effects, we get the, the dimension and everything. So. Maybe let's disable them all for now and have a look at the oscillators. We have one very low square wave and one synced square wave, which is just interesting. It's even lower but synced, so it has, again, a little bit higher harmonics and both of them together create this very nice texture together. We have also a very, very strong filter, 24 dB, so it's stronger than usual. Uh, usually would ha you would have like 12 or 18. Um, but 24, of course, is also good, like like Moog filter, for example, has a very, very strong filter. You can also go lower, but you often use it with a very, very strong setting. And we want this to make the sound feel a little more darker, right? We don't want it to be like this. Even though it also sounds cool, but not for what we want in this track, because we want a sound that feels very dark and like kind of low, you know, we don't want it to get in the way of our Hoover rave sound, but rather we want it to act counteract it in the lower frequencies. So the rhythm is very cool, very easy also. Uh, it's just like dotted eight notes, basically, but we always play two notes. Dotted eight means this is an eight note, and dotted means we add the half of it. So half of it is 16th, and we add it behind. So you can see that this is always one dotted eight note, right? And then we play two sixteenth always. We also have the velocity on the amplitude and a little bit of the cutoff, but not too much. And we can have a brief look at the effects here. We have some chorus to make it feel very wide, which I think is very important. And then I'm boosting here at 2000 Hertz just to give the sound a bit more of the color that I want to. This mid ranginess and then we have some distortion to capture all the the peaks and everything and make it like very very squishy together and lastly the 16th note delay to give it this <laughs> this rumbling feeling so this is already pretty cool But now, what she did in her track is she added two more sounds to this. And this is super interesting because they just complement it so well without doing much. So it's just 
just the last two notes of this pattern with an FM sound, right? It's just an FM sound, it's super simple. I didn't do anything here, just a little bit of distortion, a little bit of the same delay, but not much done here. Just two sine waves, one is plus one, the other one is minus one in octaves, and just a little bit of FM. Not too much. This would sound like this. Maybe a bit more we can go, but I think like this is fine. And it just finishes the sound in a way. It just works so, so well, even though it's so easy. So maybe this is something that you can have in mind for your productions as well, like those little counter sounds. Maybe it doesn't even have to be like this, like countering, like call and response, but rather it can also be layered on top of each other because here, there is some some kind of scratchy texture over the second one. And I, I rebuilt this with this Ableton Clap Digital Vox because I think it has a nice kind of color. And I added just some overdrive. A little bit of EQing and on different, different uh, pitches here. And if we listen to it with the steps. So once again, just finishing the sound, making sure that it doesn't need like a big reverb, like a big delay, like a counter step or anything. It, it's just easy. That's just the bottom line of this production. It's just easy. Easy in a way that it's simple, not that it's easy that you can make it easy. It's very hard to come up with something simple like this. So always have that in mind. Simplicity is key. It's a little bit difficult sometimes to make simple music, but if you practice it, you will get better, of course. So if you want to see more videos on techno productions, check out this playlist and follow our channel because we have a lot of content about music production and techno, melodic house and techno, hard techno, whatever it is, you will find it here on the channel. Uh, until then, I would say have a good time and keep making music.